Hey crochet fans, Tasha here with Forever Bliss Crochet. In today's video, we are talking about the basket weave stitch, and this uses front and back post stitches. If you're not familiar with that, I do have a video showing you how to do those. But in this one, in this video, we're talking about how to use those two types of stitches to make a really versatile and intriguing pattern that looks like a basket weave. What I have here is I did a chain 13 and then into the fourth chain I did a double crochet and double crochets all the way across. So in my second row I'm going to chain three and turn. Now this chain three does count as a double crochet throughout the pattern. I'm going to do a front post double crochet in the next three stitches. Let's go around the front. And then the third. Okay, so there's three. In the next three, I'm going to do back post stitches. So coming on the back of the fabric, I will do three post stitches. Here's the next one. And the third one. So there's our look so far. And now I'm going to do three front post stitches in the last three regular double crochets here. Now I was wrong to call it the last three, I should have said the next three because this chain here is a stitch in this pattern and I'm going to do a regular double crochet in the top of the chain. And for this one, I want to make sure I get in the chain and not in a part of the previous stitch that was not worked. Since this V is left exposed, it can look like it, I should go in there, <laughs> but that's not the case. So I'm gonna count up and make sure I have the right place. One, two, three. And work into the top of that chain. Okay, so there's that row, three front posts, three back posts, three front posts. For the next row, one, two, three chains and turn. And that chain does count as a double crochet throughout. So now I'm going to do three back posts. So now I'm going to do three front posts again. Oh my goodness, look, I skipped it. Let's go back. Even the teacher makes mistakes. <laughs> All right, go back to here. So this was the stitch that I'm skipping because this chain three takes its place. And working around that stitch, this stitch, and the third one. For the next three, I'm going to do a back post. So those are the three back posts, three front posts. 
Now I'm going to end over here with three more front posts. Okay, back to the turning chain, count up, one, two, three, and make sure to have my hook in the correct place. So here we are, kind of looks a bit messy, but as you follow this pattern and the fabric grows, you're going to start to see it really take effect. So for the next row, we're going to chain three again. This time I'm going to start with a back post. The pattern is down in the description box if you're trying to follow along. Okay, here I'm going to do three front posts. and then three back posts again. And then ending with working in the top of the chain three. One, two, three. There we go. <laughs> Okay, so here you can start to see a basket weave pattern of a block here of front posts, a block here of front posts, a block here of front posts. If I flip it around, you see the opposite effect where the front posts are here. And the back posts, as you can see, leave these ridges exposed. So as you continue working and developing this, that checkerboard or basket weave really takes effect. In the next video, I will show you another way of using these post stitches in making cables. Yes, you really can make cables in crochet. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it out with those who love to crochet. Thank you for joining me today. Happy crocheting, and I will see you on the next video.